we're doing um, as a Rotary Club, and that is our city centre Rotary Club, which is made up of ourselves, Sun FM, uh, the bid and many other stakeholders around the city. We have teamed together to sponsor a young person to be a sail trainee. I think that Sunderland is the perfect place to run a, a sail traineeship. It would be an experience that no one's ever had before. I'm absolutely bowled over by just being on this ship today. So imagine being on here for like a length of time and learning how it works. To be associated with not only the tall ships, but a number of the key events that we do across the city is a real opportunity for to promote both the business and the area. And I think there's a fantastic opportunity to be had. And I'm really hopeful the businesses of all sizes become involved in it because you can do anything from sponsoring um, a sale trainee up to headline sponsors. So there's a multiple range of packages. The reason we have Trafalgar Square in Hendon comes from the fact that so many sailors from Sunderland actually fought in the Battle of Trafalgar um, and to have the Lord Nelson here and less than a mile from the Trafalgar Square arms houses. Absolutely brilliant association. Um, a fantastic scheme of getting young people involved in the races uh, two years before you have them. Uh, we also had 11 um, of your ambassadors on board yesterday, mostly eating chocolate and cake. <laughs> um, and they had a good tour of the sh ship um, and it was just wonderful to see, see them all. It's a, it's a great scheme for young people and um, you should be rightly proud of what Sunderland is doing for the youth of the area. The ship is unique, um, conceived um, by one man's dream effectively. A um, gentleman called Christopher Rudd, who uh, on taking students out sailing uh, would have to leave the young lad in a wheelchair behind and he just thought that, was, that had to change. Um, people thought it was a bit foolhardy, you know, the sea is not the place for disabled people. Um, but 50,000 trainees later we've, we've shown that um, uh, given a platform where everyone can work together, everyone can work together. There's going to be a lot of people in the city next year uh, over the four days of the tall ships races. You know, so businesses should capitalise on that. Over a million people will come and see these races. So, you know, there's a commercial side as well of uh, the, the tall ships creating a real opportunity for businesses in the city. They should take the opportunity to take part. The city centre is going to be the arrival hub as well for a lot of people coming to see the tall ships from far and wide. You know, so hopefully they'll take the opportunity to explore what else is happening in Sunderland. And hopefully there'll be time to do both. Most people will find the time, especially those that have travelled, will take the opportunity to, to seek out what else is in the city centre and what other hidden gems that we've got.